Have you ever wondered what a black hole is? Or why is the gravitational force of a black hole so strong? And what happens if you jump into one of these? Black holes are volumes of space where gravity is extremely enough to prevent the escape of even the fastest moving particles. Not even light can break free, hence the name black hole. A German physicist and astronomer named Carl Schwarzschild proposed the modern version of a black hole in 1915. Foster's child realized that it was possible for a mass to be squeezed into an infinitely small point. This would make space-time around it bend so that nothing, not even massless photons of light could escape its curvature. Theoretically, all masses have a Schwarzschild's child radius that can be calculated. If the sun's mass was squeezed into an infinitely small point, it would form a black hole with a radius of just 3 km. Similarly, Earth's mass would have a Schwarzschild's child radius of just few millimeters making a black hole no bigger than a marble. People often ask, if black holes are black, if light cannot escape them, then how can we see them? The answer is that the effects that black holes have on the space around themselves. In his General Theory of Relativity, published in 1915, Albert Einstein was the first to suggest that our universe contains such strange, dense and massive objects. Black holes emerge from Einstein's equation of general relativity as a natural consequence of death and collapse of massive stars. Formation of a black hole It's generally accepted that stars with a mass at least three times greater than that of our suns can undergo extremely gravitational collapse once their fuel depletes. With so much mass in a confined volume, the collective force of gravity overcomes the rule that usually keeps the building blocks of atoms from occupying the same space. All this density creates a black hole. The second type of miniature black hole has been hypnotized, though never observed. They are thought to have formed when the rippling vacuum of early universe rapidly expanded in an event known as inflation, causing highly dense regions to collapse, called primordial black holes. They would have a smaller mass, some even close to that of Earth, but would be little bigger than a jelly bean. Who knew black holes would be so cute? Types of black hole Black holes are of two main types. The first is the so-called stellar mass black hole. These are the remnants of huge stars. When a star with more than about five times the mass of our sun explodes as a supernova, its core is suddenly and violently compressed under gravity. Depending on the star's mass, the collapse may halt and form a neutron star. But if its mass is sufficient, the core's collapse will continue forming a black hole. Stellar mass black holes have a mass ranging from a minimum of about 5 times the mass of our sun up to about 60 times the sun's mass. Their diameter is typically between 10 and 30 miles. The second type of a black hole is supermassive black hole. These can have masses many billions of times that of our sun. One example is at the center of Quasar known as Tun 618. The central black hole is an estimated 66 billion solar masses as they have simply too much mass to have formed from the death of individual stars. It is thought that supermassive black holes formed in the early history of the universe from huge collapsing clouds of interstellar hydrogen, although their exact origin is unclear and is an area of much active research. It is also possible that they have accumulated external mass over the ions from mergers with other black holes. Supermassive black holes can have diameters bigger than that of our solar system. Most galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their centers. The one at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A, has some 4 million times our sun's mass and is some 37 million miles in diameter. What's inside a black hole? By definition, we can't observe what's inside there because no light, no information of any kind can escape a black hole. But astrophysical theory suggests that at the core of a black hole, all the black hole's mass is concentrated into a tiny point of infinite density. This point is known as a singularity. It is this point that generates the black hole's incredibly strong gravitational field. The Event Horizon Telescope just took the first image of the black hole at the center of M87. That is because black holes are famously hard to see. Their gravity is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape across the boundary at a black hole's edge. The boundary of a black hole known as Event Horizon. It is not a physical edge. It is just a point in space beyond which it is impossible to escape the black hole's gravity. Once anything falling into the black hole passes the Event Horizon, it can never leave the black hole again and is drawn inexorably and inevitably towards the black hole center. Within the event horizon, any solid object is torn apart by the fierce gravity and reduced to its constituent subatomic particles. At the event horizon, 
the escape velocity of a black hole reaches the speed of light. As black holes don't emit any light or other detectable radiation, they can be observed only by their gravitational effects on objects in the space close to them. If there are stars or gas near the black hole, it may be actively feeding on them. That is, material from these nearby objects may be drawn into the black hole. In this case, a black hole will possess an accretion disk where material spirals inwards before it is consumed, like water down a drain. The accretion disk may rotate at significant percentages of the speed of light. Friction between colliding particles in the disk raises its temperature to millions of degrees, radiating huge quantities of X-rays which can be detected with special telescopes. Well, now we know what a black hole is. But have you ever wondered what makes a supernova explosion to turn into a neutron star instead of a black hole? Yes, that's our topic for another video.